All right, everybody. It is Friday, and you know what that means. It's time for Palmetto Sports. I have our resident low country sports expert here with me, Live 5 Sports, Kevin Billadu. Kevin, welcome. I'm very excited. It's like jazz hands. Palmetto jazz Sports. Hands. Palmetto Let's Sports go. Friday. I'm so excited. <laughs> um, Kevin, it's me today. You yes. have Reagan. Very excited. I love it. Okay, so let's talk about what's going on. We have, we're in basketball season. Yes. I love basketball. So what do we have coming up for high school? Yeah, and we were talking, too, before we came on. Yeah. This is like our busiest time of the season. Everyone knows these things, you know, you know, football is is the time you guys are busiest. And football is crazy, don't get me wrong. But this time, like end of February, going into March, is when things are berserk for us. And it's partly because of high school basketball. And we are starting the lower state finals tonight. We're gonna have the Somerville boys and the Somerville girls both in action out in Florence. Actually, as soon as we do this and as soon as I do the Friday Night Lights tailgate, yep. I'm hopping in the car, I'm <laughs> driving to Florence. We're gonna have full coverage of both those games tonight. Plus the Skiza uh, school will start their state championship games tonight. Oh, that's the, exciting. It is. The Northwood Academy girls playing for the 4A state championship tonight. We're going to have highlights and, and reaction from that one coming up tonight as well. And then other schools playing uh, for lower state championships coming up on Saturday. The Bishop England girls, Oceanside Collegiate boys are going to be in action. Military Magnet girls going to be playing on Monday. So all kinds of stuff going on in high school basketball right now. Yeah, everyone needs to go and support them right now. All these games coming up. Super exciting. All right, let's go to college right yeah, now. Yeah, and you know, as as we're in the state finals for, for the boys and for the high schools. College, it's starting to wind down now as well. We're in the last couple of weekends of the regular season before we get into March and, of course, the madness that will be March. The College of Charleston, they're on the road this weekend, but they've done an amazing job. You know, they kind of had a little bit of a lull early on in the middle of the season. They have come back. They've won five in a row. They're now in first place in the CAA. If they yeah. hold on to that, they're going to get the one seed going into the conference tournament in March up in Washington, D.C., and they have a really good chance to go back to the NCAA tournament for the second year in a row. And of course, all the other colleges, the Citadel, Charleston Southern, they're fighting for playoff positioning as well in the postseason. And we can't not talk about the South Carolina women, the number one team in the country. Look at them. They're positioning themselves to go all the way once again to the Final Four, which is going to be in Cleveland this year. That's exciting. That's a yeah. cool place to go. Well, who doesn't want to go to Cleveland, yeah, especially in March? That's, <laughs> that seems like the ideal trip everyone wants to do. I love it. What is your March Madness prediction? What do you think? Uh, I mean, it's, it's I know it's too it's really, really early. It's really, really early, early but there's yeah. so many teams are it's it's so broken up right now. I really like UConn. Uh, okay. I think they're going to make a run. So that that's really the team. And then Purdue is another one out, out yeah, of Indiana that I think, you know, they got the big guy, Zach Eady. I think he's going to make a big run as well. Yeah. Um, and then the Carolina Stingrays. South they're Carolina Stingrays, they're going to be on the road. I think they're up in Virginia. You know, okay. they just had Education Day uh, this past Wednesday, 1030 a.m. start, uh, busting kids from all over the low country to, to see what that Stingrays There's gave. Me. There's you talking to the Stingrays. <laughs> You were you were a little out heighted on that show. I was, well. <laughs> but that, it was one of the loudest sing race games I've ever been to. As the kids were screaming, especially when they played the songs from Moana. Oh kids yeah, kids would lose their mind. It was I such was a good time, it. and the sting race came away with with a three one win. And they're getting in, you know into the the home stretch of their season as well. They're starting to fight for playoff positioning and where they're going to go once the postseason gets going come April. Hopefully, everyone, if you're here in the Low Country, this week, can go out and see some games. Absolutely, so many chances. Don't forget college baseball is going as well so there's a chance to go out and, and see soccer. that soccer is, is going to get going for high schools and lacrosse and and baseball and softball which this is what i'm talking about I, I, I don't even have time to be here we gotta go let's go Kevin, get you on the road we need some helpers out there <laughs> please you want to do it <laughs> yeah i'll help you sold all right all right y'all thank y'all so much kevin i appreciate you being all on. right <laughs>